Oh. Yeah, I'm over here on the east shore of Lake Winnebago. Oh, Winnebago. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's like Fargo. I You're know. on Lake Winnebago? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like listening to an alien try to master English. <laughs> oh, I'm over here on the east side of the Lake Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yes, I am uh, definitely a Packer fan. Nice to see you, and hope we see you in here more often. What's your sister look like? You wouldn't <laughs> like her. She's a bitch. Sometimes I like that. You know, I got my own nipple clamps. Oh. And, uh, you know, some people are into some of that stuff. You shouldn't judge anybody. Well. <laughs> she got a weird man. She didn't know what to do with that. I, well, I'll tell you what. I wouldn't wish, wish her on my worst enemy, and I think I'm thinking you as a friend. So um, I'm not going to say nothing more. <laughs> Probably the got first time somebody one. ever said the word nipple to her. Hey, oh, Mary. Hey, he's a, hello. He's a hey. dirty talker. Hey, hello there, bang ha ha He said the nipple there. That's right. <laughs> All right, so this goes on. So you're from the Green Bay. How many times have you gone to see the Packers? No, I've only been to the Packers Stadium twice during family night, but um, never been to a Packer game. Um, don't got no tickets. Oh, yeah, I got my own season tickets, you know, right down there in the end zone. You know, uh, just last year, Donald Driver did the Lambeau Leap right into my beer, spilled it all over my wife. I like to want to punch him in his face. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You wouldn't punch Donald Driver. <gasps> Oh, if he jumped in my lap, oh, my God, they'd never get him back out on that field. I would just hang on to that sucker, and I would kiss him all over the place. Oh, my God. Oh, my. <laughs> dang. Not you. <laughs> you go, uh, dang. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I was trying not to get, because I could have said something really filthy. Oh, yeah. but, you know, I was trying not to make her run away. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when I said nipple clamps, I could tell she just stopped. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, well, she, she thinks that's a cow milking device, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. All right, here we go. Oh, Donald Driver. Oh, I hate tension. I, that's why I do the heroin, you know. It keeps me nice and smooth. <laughs> that was my favorite line of the whole thing. I probably would pee my pants all over. But then I would spill somebody's beer all over my lap, and ble and this way nobody would know the difference. I, you know, I think I could tell the difference. Yeah, beer's got a distinctive smell, and you're in something totally different. <laughs> something of an expert, you know? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't even hear that part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember what she was talking about. Oh, my God. She, she was talking about, because I was talking about the beer spilling in my lap. And she said she talked about the, peeing her pants. Yeah, and she said she <laughs> wouldn't know the difference. Right, and she wouldn't know the difference. You said, "Well, there's a very distinct smell to beer and a very much different smell to urine." <laughs> I am sitting here biting my tongue. Uh, say, how do you like that, Aaron Rodgers? I love him. I love him. But um, <laughs> no tipping cows. No, no, no. Hey, I'll tell you what. You can do that. You know, tipping cows. He ain't gonna win every game, but he um, he is he's looking good, and I really like him. I think he needs a haircut. So, what do you think about Brett Favre over there in the Jets? You see him throw those interceptions the other night? Hey, well, par for the course. How many did he throw here? <laughs> <laughs> this is a turn on him so fast. About four hundred thousand. I hate him. I can't stand him. If I ever see Brett Favre again, I'm gonna spit right in his eye. Oh boy, you and I are gonna have a tangle. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my dress. I'm gonna get dressed. Because, you know, I'm sitting here naked, and and I'm going to get dressed, and I'm going to come to Green Bay, and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. If you're going to do that, don't bother to get dressed, eh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know what the hell to do by I now. Know. He said nipples, urine, and talked about me in the nakeds. It's a pecker. <laughs> uh, did you hear her cough? I heard her clap. No, I'm she sorry, didn't. I was just clapping myself. No, she, she listened to her cough. Listen. <clears throat> oh, Excuse, yeah. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse <clears throat> me. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Listen <laughs> to that. Listen to that. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's put that with. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse <laughs> 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 me. Yeah, give it three of those and then let her say excuse me and then try it again. We'll get some rhythm here. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> 
<coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there you go. You, you following me now? Yeah. We could write some lyrics over that. Sure. We could be stars. Oh Yo, I got the knock of my clock. All right. Uh, I have one little story before we get to emails and shout outs. All right. All right. But anyway, that's that's lovey. You'll probably find her in our room tomorrow oh, yeah. night. Or Wednesday night, rather. I hope so. Um, for many years, John, former Detroit Lion general manager Matt Mellon, has been considered the worst personnel man in the NFL. Yeah, poor Matt. During his tenure, uh, by the way, I loved him at the end of the cartoon. Uh, yeah. During his tenure, that was a great way to end the cartoon. He got fired today, by the way. Lane Kiffin, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Can we believe it if, God, if Al would get on the sidelines? Just throw it long. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fake it to Mav Hubbard up the middle and throw it to Cliff Branch. Uh, anyway, during his tenure, the Lions were the worst team in the league, winning 31 games and losing 84. The team went three straight years without winning a game on the road. Three head coaches that Millen fired have never been hired to lead another team. <laughs> okay. But despite his terrible performance, the owner of the Lions let Matt Millen keep his job. Year after year, the franchise stood behind Millen and defended him while the Detroit Lions fans and the press screamed for his head. Finally, yeah. finally last week, what, what's that, Matt? I, I had some pictures of Mr. Ford and this little Taiwanese boy. Ah. Yeah. Well, finally, last week, Matt Millen was fired, and it took his wife less than a day to take a verbal shot at the Detroit Lions, the franchise that showed her husband right. as much loyalty as any employer has ever shown <laughs> any employee in human history. Oh, shit. During an interview with Chris Mortensen on ESPN, Millen's wife, Patty, said, We're fine. In the world's view, this may look like failure. It's been a hard road, football-wise, but we've gotten a lot of in eternal blessings. We'll move forward. I told him, you're out of football prison now, and we have a greater purpose. Oh, it's going to be the Matt Millen mission. Football prison? If Detroit is football prison, that's because your husband made it so, lady. Before your husband arrived, the Lions were coming off a 9-7 and seven season, had been to playoffs six of the nine years before that. Since your husband's arrival, the Lions have never even been close to making the playoffs. Don't you mean he released the Detroit Lions from football prison? <laughs> I think what she means is, ah, you have to stay in Detroit. Yeah, maybe that's it. You have to stay in Detroit. <laughs> maybe that's We're it. We're leaving anywhere. We're going anywhere. All right, emails and shout-outs. All right, let's see. Let me do some shouts first. Uh, some, some good people who are putting out the uh, cartoon, putting the uh, links out for the cartoon and the podcast. I want to thank uh, over on RaiderFans.net. Uh, let's see, who was it there? Uh, uh, Raider Ran. Uh, E. Johnson and Righteous Raider for, for posting up for the cartoon there. I like that. That's good to see. Uh, let's see. Pro Sports Daily. I want to talk to Big V over here on Raiders Forum. Thanks for posting up the cartoon. That's pretty cool of you. Daryl is my hero. 28 on Extreme Skins for always talking up the podcast. We're going to give him a shout. And over on BoltTalk.net, thanks to Hollywood Leo for putting the cartoon up. And as always, what's up, Ray, and what's up, Lauren? Uh, let's see. What do we got today as far as emails go? Oh, we already read Dallas Ace's whiny butt. Yeah, we got that one. Uh, let's see. Here's one from Sonic Man. All right. Love the podcast, but I heard you guys talking in episode 101, talking about the biggest losses in sports, and I thought I'd clear some things up. When they're talking about Australia beating Namibia 142-0, scoring on 22 tries, they're talking about rugby union, a rugby league, not Australian rules. Oh, I, 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 Very different uh, sport, well, yeah. Yeah. We're talking yeah. about sports here. Yeah, real sports. Who cares? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Moving along here. <laughs> oh, now he's going to be mad at us. <laughs> Whoa, right. he's, what's he going to call us? They're a bunch of ruggery dogs. Did we get any, hey, did we get an email about Fox Sports pregame show? Uh, yes, actually we did. Let me find that we one. We did? I was, I was pretty shocked to see that. Actually, you know, speaking of foreigners that like to write our show, Reevesy is checking in. Hi, guys. Just Reevesy! Wanted, yeah, just wanted to show my support for what you guys have been doing. But, dude, we ain't doing nothing but dicking around. <laughs> I've been spreading the word to all my friends about your show and cartoons. Continue to follow everything bang related. Keep up the good work. Really appreciate it. That's cool. Thanks for, uh, I, I like Reevesy, man. Yeah, we he's always good. Mess with him. He's good, good guy. guy. All right, let me see. I got to find this one here uh, about the. Uh, uh, okay, here's from Josh Wells. No, this isn't the right one. <laughs> you threw me off here. I can't tell which. <laughs> well, one you don't have to read it right now. I just. Threw All right, it yeah, out but there. we did get one. Okay. All well, right. We'll so let's it. see here. Uh, what Josh say? Well, here's one from John Dinkston. This is the one. This oh. is funny. <laughs> John Dinkston. <laughs> Dude, what kind of name is that? Yo, motherfucker. 
The only reason I watch the Fox pregame show is because my Negro Michael Strahan is on it. Uh. I'm a Giants fan. Why the F wouldn't I watch it? The Giants? Michael Strahan? Do you see a connection, asshole? What the fuck? Ooh, you piss me off so much, I'm about to ram my head through the fucking wall and have my neighbor say, What the hell was that? I don't give an F. I'm so damn mad at you. You calling me dumb? No, you the dumb motherfucking butthole dumpling. You got to you piss me off. What the fuck, you fucking douche dispenser? You motherfuckers. <laughs>